Okay, hello and welcome to another um, PHP shell scripting video. Um, in this video we're going to sort of extend what we did in the last part and have it so that the program won't quit once we've entered something and it'll prompt for another something. Uh, and the way we're going to do that is by using an infinite loop so that um, it'll be, well, as soon as we get to, like, um, let's go back to our code. This is what we had at the end of the last video. Um, so once we get to this point here, it'll just loop back to the start and tell them to enter another something. And we do that literally just by wrapping this whole thing in a while loop with the condition of true. Because true will always be true, meaning that, um, just put those tabs there, meaning that um, this loop will continue until something stops it. Uh, I'm also going to mention another important point here. So, going back to our terminal, if we run this again, you see we get told to enter something. If I just type something, you see we get the MD5 output, and then we get told to enter something again. And this will continue forever until we find a way to kill this program. So we can keep typing things in forever and ever and ever, and eventually, well not eventually, it'll just, well I mean eventually the well, no, yeah, it'll just, it'll just keep running forever and ever and ever until your keyboard breaks. Um, so, yeah, um, obviously, this um, so infinite loops generally are considered, at least when you're developing web scripts, are something that should be avoided. However, because uh, the terminal provides sort of different f functionality, if you like, like for example, here uh, it's looping infinitely, but it's actually stopped. Execution has paused at this moment because it's waiting for input. It's not actually doing anything. So, like, an inf you may have come across an infinite loop if you sort of fudged uh, an SQL statement before, um, and you've got this like massive amount of output coming to the browser, sort of warning MySQL something or other expects something boolean given. Boolean, sorry. Um, yep. So that's that. Uh, generally, in times of web browsing, it's something to be avoided, but perfectly acceptable to deliberately use an infinite loop here. Um, oh, and that's the other thing I wanted to mention. Um, the way to actually kill a script is to hold down control and press C. And you can see that that's put this little weird character. This is a control character and it sort of ended the script. Um, so if you ever sort of, well, bodge a script and there's no way that it's ever going to stop running, that's just how you stop it without having to close the window and then open a new one. Um, so yeah, that is basically everything I wanted to say in this video. Um, what you could do here is sort of tidy this up because obviously it's not very neat, but as you can see, it's getting a little bit cooler and kind of more fun. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. So thanks for watching and join me in whatever comes next and I'll try and show you something else.